Look at Mr. Johnson. Look, we are, we are, we are moving. If I could get a few more minutes, Mr. Johnson. Yep, of course. If we could get a few more minutes, because I know Tanya is full with information. Uh, she does it on her page, you guys. She gives information. She, uh, you know, as far as uh, talk shows and interviewing folks uh, and things like that. So I want to get in another question that she can answer. Um, throughout your journey as a as a singer, an artist, a songwriter, I'm sure you came across uh, folks that have you signing contract. If you haven't signed, uh, you got close to it. Um, what message would you send out there to artists about a contract? And if you knew better, you wouldn't have done. Well, any bad experience? I've had. I've had. Well, I've, I've been out, always blessed because um, I did have a really good team around me. And I made sure that I had business people who were very versed in contracts. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is that I, it became a crutch for me. And I just allowed them to just do whatever. And so my only thing would be um, start to get versed in contracts. And this might seem hard, but it's really not. Um, if you can, you know, University of Google and University of YouTube could teach you a lot of things <laughs> that you would not Google it. Know. I mean, like, it's serious. It's, I've, I've um, walked out of many contracts because they weren't good. And all I could tell you is that 360, uh, 360 is not good. If mm -hmm. you could get somebody to do a 50-50 with you or even a 60-40, it, that's way better than having a 360 um, what contract, you know, um, a lot of people not understand simple things like remunerations and in perpetuity. And, you know, these are words where everybody go, okay, and then they sign away in life. And they just sign away, yes. Right, and, and this is why, um, I mean, maybe eventually one day I might go to Belize and have maybe a master class with, artists maybe maybe that's something maybe that's something that i i can do and just figure out how we could do it but i feel sorry for a lot of people because if they would have said the amount of money with him plaster in front of me and say huh ah uh, look just sign, just, sign. Mm -hmm. just sign right here and okay. then by the time when you turn around you'll get shelved mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've had many opportunities whereby you know, very, very scary. What if I do? What if I don't? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you have to look at the bigger picture. What are they offering you? What they're willing to take away? Is is it a free for? Like, you don't understand. So, and I know it's very scary, but at the same time, if you have all the, the information, is I always say my people lack, uh, or my people perish for the lack of information. Yeah, exactly. All you need is information and because people smart men people smart just gotta do due diligence and research i've never signed a contract that i've regretted because i've had a great team so i'm just gonna say that okay and that's very important guys do not sign any documents without it being reviewed by a attorney your attorney or someone that knows the business okay it's very tricky out there, especially in this business. Everybody want to be a star. Everyone want to get into the industry, but you have to be very careful with paper paperwork, period. You understand? Yes. The yes. black and white will get you in trouble. You understand? So we have to really pay attention to that, guys. Um, I'm going to throw this real quick because I want, to, uh, want us to get to a close. Um, you have anyone that you would like to collab with? If you have your favorite... Female or male? Great question. Um, anybody that I'd like to collaborate with? Um, I still am, I'm still a really huge fan of uh, Damien Marley. I would love to do something with Damien. Um, I love Steven as well. Some of my Belizean artists, um, I, I would love to work with um, Safagan. I'm working with him right now. I would love to work with the Garifuna Collective, and, and that is a, Ooh, okay. a possibility. Okay. Um, and, and, I have, and I have some more, too, that I, that I would like to, to work with. 
um, as well. I'm a huge, huge fan of um, uh, Chico Ramos. Yeah. Huge, okay. huge fan. First of all, when he come out and say, I want Mariton, I was like, ah! <laughs> Amira, Amira, Tafa. Big, 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 big. She said, Amira, Tafa, too. Yes. yes. I was I was a little girl, but I was like, I'm on my way to my mama. said, what is he saying? I said, I don't know. My I don't know. I'm on my way to my <laughs> oh my goodness is, is there anyone you want to thank uh, uh, Tanya uh, for your meeting absolutely I want to thank first and foremost to you guys for giving me this opportunity to come on here um, you know it's not every day that um, you know people get to see people like you guys that are forefront and giving people a platform um, to come on whether, whether big, small, it no matter. It, every, every single platform is as big as where you get it to. So I just want to say kudos and thank you to thank you. you and Will. Um, and of course, Mr. Will don't know, you know, you know, we always want to buy you. I want to meet Mr. Will. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, I'll be got my team. Um, I have um, Alex Ayuso, Michael Patico, um, um Garth Guthrie um and every single person that's been on my team and they're we're coming back full force to just see what else we could do and maybe possibly get something out of it you know so mm -hmm. I want to thank uh, my parents as well for you know the contribution and my my entire family so um kudos to every single person that tell me that they support me and they show it they every show it. time. So well that's what we have that's what we have to do guys. It's it's easy as one through three. I mean we can't, you know, like everyone, but we can build a community of support supporters, yes. you know? And we have to put it in mind, you know, you have to do your part. You can't it's not one sided. You support me, I support you, you know, and stuff like that. So um, that is one thing that we want to really pay attention to because as simple as just sharing someone else's stuff, that's a big plus. Okay, so that's let's that. try let's try to do that. You guys, um, we we're gonna we're gonna come to a close. Any anything, Mr. Johnson, you want to say to anyone um, out there? And then you have a commercial for us, and then we're gonna close with her yeah, brand I, new single. I I just want to thank thank um uh, Tanya for for being on the show and uh, um it was just a coincidence she reached out to me with her new song I said well you might as well if you're doing a new song you might as well do an interview and she yes. said yes and that was really kind of her to do and uh, of course she, uh, I'm 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 a fan I just want you to know that I'm a fan all right yeah. and 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 to the folks who are listening uh, uh, to our broadcast this morning um I want you guys to pay attention to the very important point that Tanya brought up especially the artists think mm -hmm. business when you're out there think business when when you're when you're doing your music because a lot of folks don't know what happened behind the scene the idea of sitting down and writing no song putting the lyrics to it putting the music to it and a lot of people who get involved in making the music itself the bass the guitar the keyboard there's a whole lot of behind the scene that happened and you need to get paid for it period exactly all right that so that's what i have to say okay <laughs> that's what i have to say all right and you guys I know um, Mr. Johnson had the fly up there. There's a flyer going around, and I think um, uh, Ray Gungara was, I, I, I'm not sure, he wanted to kind of like do a little plug in as far as the play. The Belize play came from that, mm -hmm. come from Belize, you mm -hmm. guys. Um, I was going to have him call in, but I, I, I don't know. Um, if he was online uh, today, I, I'm not seeing that. But I just want to plug that in for you guys. It's next weekend, right, Mr. Johnson? Exactly. Next week, next weekend. Let me just grab the flyer. Um, there is this um, one man. Let's see. Wait, wait, let, 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 let's get it right. Let's get it right. Here we go. Um, if I could, if I could say it right, Marcus B and Versatile Entertainment present all the way from Belize. One man, one man, you know, I, I'm a Creole, Panaku said it's real good. One man, I a tree thing. One man, one man I a tree thing. Yeah. So one man got three women. Is yeah. that what it yeah. is? Yeah, one man, I a tree thing. Yeah, man. One, one man, man, I a tree thing. I a tree thing. Mm -hmm. 
next Saturday, next Saturday, April 6th, and Sunday, April 7th. All right, you guys, go and like, find the information, Punta Ton Production, um, which is versatile, and Marcus B, you guys, they are pushing this thing. If you're that Belizean and you can make it, please support, support. All right? Get all the information from the website, and tickets are going fast. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sunday, oldies but goodies at Little Belize. Um, also, Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, Frank um, is having another oldies but goodies. Sunday music at Little Belize. And this is Easter Sunday. We're going to have, we are open. We're going to have some good Easter food. We're going to have some Easter music. Come on out and support you guys. So, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, we have this 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 big ABC News flash. Please introduce it, Miss. <laughs> Miss. ABC News. Yeah, flash. introduce it, Miss Lerna, please. Yes. Hey guys, you know, uh, business is hard, and we've been pushing it, and we've been pushing it. So we we are fortunate to, we are grateful that we had a visit from ABC Seven News, and they came to Little Belize to taste the Belizean experience, you guys, Ooh. which was recently, and. It was live on Seven News yesterday, so Mr. Jansen will show the world that Little Belize has been pushing, and you guys know a restaurant is not easy easy to do. So we are working very hard to keep this going. Little Belize restaurant on ABC News Seven. Take your taste buds on vacation to escape the rain. Why not head to the Caribbean? That's exactly what it feels like when you step into this Inglewood restaurant. Mm. Here's what's on the menu at Little Belize. You don't have to travel to the Caribbean to enjoy this tasty cuisine. For big flavors, a fun atmosphere, and a friendly staff, just take a trip to Little Belize in Inglewood. I am so glad that we are recognized. Um, as Belizeans, we are extremely proud of our culture. And um, one of the great things about Belize and Belizean people is that we are friendly. We are downright friendly. The smell of this food alone will welcome you right in. And the taste? That's good. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm on an island. An entire red snapper fried and then stewed in a rich coconut milk with onion and tomato sauce. Corn tamales with chicken. Penares and garnaches. Corn fried tortillas topped with refried beans. And the traditional Sunday meal of stewed chicken, rice and beans, potato salad, and plantain. So I snuck a plantain while you guys weren't looking, and it was amazing. <laughs> um, but I want to start here because oxtail, my favorite. The oxtail is a fan favorite. You'll understand once you take a bite. It cooks for four hours and is fall off the bone tender. A lot of people come in here and say, I'm going to believe. I looked at Belize, I found you guys, I want to come here because I want to learn something about the food, I want to learn something about Belize before I go into Belize. They say it's rewarding because these Belize-born women, three of them sisters, shared a hunger to share their culture and cuisine once they immigrated to Southern California and to be a community base. We are proud of ourselves. It might not end up being the big uh, community center and restaurant that we wanted, but what it does is that we can embrace and support all of Belizeans coming in. Mm -hmm. They have a place to go. Their main goal in having this, this restaurant is so that we can bring the cause of Belize and Belizeans to America. Through this restaurant, Little Belize and their nonprofit, the Consortium for Belize and Development, they're doing just that. Before you go, check out the desserts. They're baked in house. The owners are thankful to you and the city of Inglewood for supporting Little Belize these last 14 years. We're happy to know that we have people that is seeing what we're doing, is acknowledging what we're doing. We make them happy, we make them welcome, you know, and just everybody come and have a good time. Congratulations to Little Belize. Go ahead, Queen Lerna. Wow. Thank you so much for putting that on there for me. Uh, surprise, surprise. He surprised me with that one. And, guys, it has been such a great time. Mr. Lane Proby is online. Mr. Patrick Barra is online. Can we do a quick shout-out right there? Um, 
Mr. Patrick Barrow, thank you for tuning in. You said you was and you got on there. Thank you so much. Uh, Rod, Iceberg, everyone, DJ No Side, we love you guys. Let's keep pushing this music moving forward. We have Miss Tanya Kata, you guys, big support right here. I tell you, it's multi-talent. It's not just reggae, dance hall artists we got sitting right here with us. All right, and like she said, I want to be an NBC, I mean, ABC 72. So we, we, we're working on getting on all these, uh, all this stuff. This is, this is what's needed. You understand? So let's push each other for us to reach there. So guys, I think I want to make sure I thank everyone. If you don't hear your name, I appreciate all the sharing online, everyone that support this platform. Let's keep it going. You guys have to motivate me because sometimes, you know, I fall in, I'm, I'm done. I fall in the side, on the sideways, you know, and something like that. But anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, you guys, we're going to sign off with the brand new release with from Miss Tanya Carter because she's here with us on a wake up like this. And stay tuned to her, um, visit her site for her new release. Don't did, did you say the brand new release or uh, one in a million? Which one we're doing? Oh, we, you want to do my one in a million? Yeah, but, yeah, man, right. yeah, man. All right, All right man. All time, right, guys. Let's party. It's holiday time. Tanya, you're looking good, and thank you for joining us on the show, Tanya. Thank you. He said one in a million, but it's million mm. dollars. All right. Said that he loves me, and maybe I like her in that. You say you wanna marry me, but baby I can give you that cause I ain't got no time to be wasting my time on precious love. I've been hurt three times, and I shut my mind, so please just shut that down. Teasing you with that one, you go to YouTube and go to uh, 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 all the other places, Spotify and the plate. You understand? Take it away, Queen Learner. You guys, there's so many good ones on there, so we got we got to come to a close. You guys, it's been it's been a good morning with the lovely and very talented Tanya Kata. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join us here. So, ladies and gentlemen, world, Tanya is with us. Uh, mm, I wake, wake up, up like, like this. this. Wake up like this.